a Mustang week and Vinny and the guys from JNL used our 24 Mustang GT to come up with a new oil separator kit. Today that is available and he's here today to show us how to install it. All right, Vinny, for customers who don't know, if they just bought a 24 Mustang GT or a Dark Horse, why would they want an oil separator? People would want an oil separator on their S650 GT to basically maximize the performance of their engine and also maximize the efficiency of the engine. Now, how does it do that? So it does that by filtering out the PCV oil that comes through the PCV system that coats your intake system, coats the intake valves, uh, can produce carbon buildup on the backside of your intake valves, which hurts airflow. Um, getting oil into the combustion chamber can also um, produce some engine knock by diluting the, the fuel and hurting the octane rating on the fuel. And we know these things are, are turned up and they're gonna be turned up even higher. So a very, very simple product, plug and play, we're gonna eliminate that. And we've installed these before, obviously on pretty much every car we've ever built here. I'm assuming the installation of the 24, kind of just as easy as other cars? Absolutely, one big thing that we try to do is we try to always have our kits as assembled as possible and make the installation as easy as we possibly can for the end user. So you'll see our kits are fully assembled. They have factory style quick connect fittings. So all you pretty much need to do, like on this kit we're gonna show you here, you gotta remove one bolt, the engine cover, and pop it into place. So before we dive into the installation, I wanna show you guys this. This is the prototype kit, so I don't wanna show you the whole thing, but this is my ride home from Mustang Week. So 550 miles of use. I wanna show you actually how much oil this collected. These things do work. So one of my favorite things about having a vendor here is it means I get the day off. Vinny is gonna walk you through the installation. Our first step, we need to remove our engine cover. Let's grab the corner and pull up. It's in four rubber grommets and then take manifold. Now we're gonna locate our PCV line off of the passenger side cylinder head. This is the PCV valve here, which is connecting to the intake manifold. Start at the intake. You're gonna push away at the clip and lift up. And the same thing at the PCV, push the gray tab away. To prep our oil separator for installation, we need to install the bracket onto the separator. You'll notice that there are two logos. You're gonna align those two logos and then use the supplied screws to fasten a bracket to the can. Now our oil separator is gonna mount here, um, this stud for your coolant expansion tank. So take your 10 millimeter socket and break that free. And we're just gonna remove it for now. Now an optional step, because our hoses are gonna route around the driver's side PCV line, is I like to slide this out of the way. You can actually just disconnect it from the valve cover and pivot it forward. Now we're gonna route our hoses on our oil separator. Start with your longer line here. This is gonna go underneath this coolant line. And then over towards the PCV, underneath this IMRC little vacuum hose here. And then the shorter line, you're gonna go underneath this EVAP solenoid. You gotta lift up on it to get the connector through. And then pull that through and your oil separator should start to wanna go in place. Go and make your intake connection first. Now to make these connections, our connections simply just push into place and lock in. They do disconnect a little differently. They are push button release, which you'll see that button says push on it. Now if this fitting is say facing the wrong direction or you believe it is, all these move. They can be twisted. So if you need to tweak it, you can do that. So we're gonna push that down into place. You'll hear it snap in. And then the PCV, same thing, that connection will twist. Before we fasten our bracket, let's get our driver's side PCV line back through. Just fish it through the two hoses and make your connection. So align that, starts right in the place. And I'm actually gonna leave this loose for now until we reinstall our engine cover. Now our engine cover, you have these four ball studs. They're gonna go into the four grommets on the intake manifold, so just align those. And push them down into place. We're gonna do a final check of our lines here. See that there's nothing doing a hard hit. Check the, the routing through the driver's side PCV line here. And once we're satisfied with that, we can tweak our bracket and tighten it up. 
So that's going to expect from JNL. I mean, the installation was easy. It looks OEM, and best of all, it's easy to get to. Now, how often should you really be checking this? It's a great question. So every vehicle is different, and vehicles can be different driver to driver, uh, depending on people drive. Atmospheric conditions can affect collection rate too. So what we always do as a general rule of thumb is check it at a thousand miles after you install it, okay. and that'll give you a good idea of how much your vehicle is putting into the oil separator. Average collection on most of these Coyote platforms since 2011 is about an ounce every thousand miles, okay. and the oil separator holds three ounces. So if I had maybe 2,500, 3,000 miles, it's going to be pretty full on most. Perfect. And like I said, these are available in both the silver and the black finish. And I think they're made right here in the USA, correct? They are. Um, we're actually located in Chesapeake, Virginia. Um, we do all the assembly there. Uh, they are The cans themselves and the brackets are manufactured right here in the USA. Uh, and they carry a lifetime warranty. So these JNL separators are available right now at cjponyparts.com.